In this series, The World's Most Dangerous Snakes, I expand on an idea first introduced by wildlife presenter Nigel Marvin as I count down what I believe to be the 10 most dangerous snakes in the world. We look at four rating factors. Number one, venom toxicity. Two, proximity to people. Three, personality. And four, a special category known as the X Factor. Each snake is given a score out of 10 for each category. The scores are then combined to reach a total out of 40 and the snakes are rated based on that overall score. Hi guys, Dingo here and welcome to this week's video where we carry on counting down the world's most dangerous snakes. And this little guy sitting in front of me over here comes in really high on our list. And you might look at it and say, Dingo, what a small insignificant snake. And when I first saw the saw scale viper, I felt exactly the same. I thought, you know, this little guy couldn't fight his way out of a wet paper bag. Look how minuscule he is. Look how docile he is. He looks like a glorified house snake. However, the saw scale viper has a massive reputation in the world and it's well deserved. It's an absolutely spectacular snake. This is actually an adult, even though it's this small. Very calm right now. Look at that. Calm. Very, very super calm. Look at that. It's as calm as a vegan in a cabbage patch. Chilled out. It'll change shortly though. The saw scaled viper. It's got these beautiful colors all the way down. He's super camouflage. Camouflage hunters, they largely nocturnal. They come out at night. They love feeding for lizards, small rodents, things like that, all around houses in rural Asia and rural Africa. Now, one of my problems having this snake so high up on our list is actually it's a little bit unfair. There are 13 different species of saw scale vipers. When we're talking mambas or cobras, I don't take all the species of mambas, five species of mambas, and put them into one. We don't take all the cobras in the world and put them into one. But with saw scale vipers, generally the stats do that. They found throughout Africa, or most of Africa, they found throughout Asia. And that's why they're such dangerous snakes. And that's the reason they've made our list of the top 10 most dangerous snakes in the world. So let's get right into it. Our first factor we look at is the venom toxicity of these beautiful little saw scale vipers. Now when it comes to the venom of these snakes, often vipers have very simple venom. So they've got venom which is normally a cytotoxic or a hematoxic venom, attacks your tissues or your blood. These little vipers have actually got a real mixture of their venom. So they've got cytotoxins, they've got hematoxins, they've got cardiotoxins, which attack your heart. They've also got neurotoxins, which attack your nervous system, which complicates bites tremendously. The other issue we have with the venom is the yield of venom changes so much through localities. So you'll find some from Iran, totally different venom yield than some from other patches uh, throughout Asia. And so when a doctor's treating a snake like this, it's really difficult to treat the bite accurately because somebody comes in, their kidneys are failing. Other people come in, they can't breathe. They've got pins and needles in their mouth. Their face is going lame. And that's from the neurotoxic symptoms. Other people come in, it's intense pain, swelling, gangrene, septicemia coming in. It's a nasty, dirty, dirty bite. It's not a clean bite like something like a puff air. Cytotoxins, we know how to deal with it. These snakes, it's a mixture. It's a conglomeration of factors, really difficult, and it changes in its ranges. Isn't he being so relaxed now? But the venom, really, really bad for the saw scale viper. And when it comes to our category on the toxicity of this venom, I'm gonna give the saw scale viper a big seven out of 10. Which brings us to our second category, the proximity that these snakes come into with human beings. There's probably no snake on the planet that is in contact with people more than the saw scale viper. And for this reason, they kill more people in the world than any other snake, that's right. More people die from this magnificent little viper than all the cobras, mambas, tarpans all put together. It's a prolific human killer because it comes into contact with rural people living in Africa and Asia. 
And often in Africa, people come out of their kraals. That's their rendezvous at night. They walk outside. They're fetching wood for the fire. They're going to the toilet because they have outhouses outside. And they're walking and they stand on the snake because it's absolutely camouflaged and it's hunting. And a person will come stand on the snake and straight away, oh, lightning quick strike. Lightning, lightning quick. It's one of the quickest striking snakes in the world. Right up there with the puff adder and the death adder. Super fast. You're not going to dodge a strike from the snake. And they'll stand on the snake, bite straight away, envenomate. And that's why it kills so many people. It comes into contact with people throughout Asia. Asia, the biggest, most populous continent in the world. Saw scale vipers all over it. Africa, North Africa, all over the place. Central Africa, saw scale vipers. And that's the problem. And that's why it comes into contact with human beings more than any other snake, more than Russell's vipers, more than spectacle cobras, more than Malayan pit vipers. It's the saw scale viper. And that's why when it comes to the proximity of human beings, I give the saw scale viper our first 10 out of 10. Is it an incredible? And that brings us to our third factor, and that's the personality of the snake. So you might be saying, Dingo, it's just been chilling at you. It does nothing. Calm snake. I don't know why people are getting bitten by it. Let me show you something. As I come into its range over here, it's seeing me. It's saying, what is this big guy over here? And watch, I want you to hear the sound. Can you hear that sound? A lot of people now will think that that sound is still warming up. As I get up onto my knees, watch how the snake changes. But a lot of people are gonna think that sound comes from it puffing. It's not, it's just its scales rubbing together. And that's why it's called the saw scale viper. It's also called a carpet, uh, carpet viper, but that's because of the coloration. Can you hear that noise? Watch as I get up now and I come into its area here. Watch what it'll do. Look at that. And that's a defensive mechanism. It's not aggressive yet. Oh, cameraman's moving fast. That's why I like to see some reflexes in my team. Very good to have the whole team on the edge of their toes, you know? Can you hear that sound? And that's meant to intimidate, and it is intimidating. It's intimidating me right now. But what it'll do, after it intimidates you like that, boom, strike, lightning quick strike. Watch here again. One, two, three, and four, five, six, and he's just building up now. Can you see it's getting a perfect strike position? Boom, strike. They super grumpy snakes. Grumpy, grumpy. Grumpier than a vegan in a butchery. Absolutely going off their heads sometimes and he's warming up now. And you wouldn't think this is the same snake as we had out just now. It's coming. It's not the kind of snake you want to tail either. But let me try to do it anyway because I've got a glove on. <laughs> and then once it's up here, calms down. Right now it's distracted by the people moving around behind the camera and not at me, which is always a really good, good thing when you're dealing with such a dangerous snake. But did you see how quickly it went from zero to hero? Relaxing, just hanging out there, suddenly, oh, struck, 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 the saw scale viper. So this is not the position I wanted in now. Look at that. I haven't got it on the hook. It's sitting on the hook. It's not hooked around and it's making that noise at me. Mm -mm. No, you don't. It's got short man syndrome, this snake. Cranky little guy. So when it comes to the personality of these snakes, I'm going to give it a big 8 out of 10. They're not reluctant to bite. They love giving you a good nip. The saw scale viper, 8 out of 10 for personality. Which brings us to our fourth category, the X factor. That's a category where I give certain species of snakes extra points where they have characteristics that don't necessarily fit into our first three categories, but that makes them more dangerous. This snake, it's not the biggest snake in the world. Don't want to bite in the face. That'll be a medical complication. It's not the biggest snake in the world. It's not the fastest snake in the world. It doesn't even have the most toxic venom, but when a snake kills more people in the world than any other species, I can't help but give it a massive 8 out of 10. And that brings our total for the beautiful saw scale viper 
to a massive 33 out of 40 and places it in the fourth position in my list of the world's most dangerous snakes. I know some of you might be disappointed that it's not number one and you might be saying, Dingo, it kills more people, it's number one. There's a lot of factors where it loses a little bit of ground over the next three that are coming up. Put your comments down below. Tell us what you think about the Saw Scale Viper being number four on our list. Next week, we get into an Aussie snake. Number three, most dangerous snake in the world, all the way from Australia. Can you guess what species it is? We'll see you then. Thanks for joining us. Dingo out.